சார் ஓகே பேசுங்க பேச ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணுங்க சார் லைவ் போயிடுச்சு சார் ஆ லைவ் போயிடுச்சு பேசுங்க சார் குட் மார்னிங் அண்ட் வார்ம் வெல்கம் டு ஒன் அண்ட் ஆல் விர்ச்சுவலி பிரசன்ட் ஹியர் ஆர் புதூர் பள்ளி சிபிஎம்எல் காலேஜ் இஸ் கண்டக்டிங் எ சீரிஸ் ஆஃப் வெபினார் டு என்கேஜ் தி அகடமிஷியன்ஸ் இன் திஸ் பேண்டமிக் பீரியட் as a part of the program this is the contribution from department of physics this is the first uh, series of webinar organized by department of physics so to uh, officially welcome all the participants i request our iqc coordinator dr vin vijayana to deliver the welcome address dr vijay over hello ah uh, please listen sir hello good morning good morning to everyone and it is a great pleasure to welcome all the participants for this uh, webinar on importance of nanostructure thin film cathode materials in lithium lithium ion battery sir so, come on sir welcome sir yes sir sir screen sir screen cut panirunga sir இல்ல நீங்க வச்சிருக்கீங்களா சார் இது இல்ல சார் ஆ ஆ ஓகே சார் சார் விஜயன் கிளேட் ஆ ஓகே இப்ப இட்ஸ் a great pleasure to welcome the participants for this webinar in the title importance of nano structured thin film cathode materials in lithium ion battery first i welcome our department uh, hod dr n saravanan sir i am ravi kumar sir ramachandran sir marikannu madam and, and r prema rani madam so it's a great pleasure to give the welcome address to you sir thank you sir first i would like to welcome our resource person dr n sivakumar assistant professor department of uh, physics chikkayanaikar college e road um in addition i would like to congratulate the organizing secretary and his whole team to select the to select the need of the our topic because the, there is a there is a mushroom growth in production of electrical vehicle as a result the battery demand is also go, is also in a high rise so many researchers are going into the uh, battery most of the research are in with a uh, liquid electrolyte they are using the liquid electrolyte we with as some of the disadvantages like corrupting the cell long term efficiency run like that there is many disadvantages so in order to find an alternative solution to this liquid electrolyte using battery uh, nanotechnology plays a very vital role for the production for, for thinking of an, another alternative solution so it has it is also playing a handy and pivotal role in fabricating and designing the uh, proper electrolyte prop for the battery which has many advantages like um, eco friendly recyclability efficiency and power density so this is a very 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 good topic selected by the team and i hope all the participants will be getting useful uh, is budding scientists and research scholars will be getting many knowledge about this uh, lithium ion battery uh, nanotechnology and all so regarding the resource person uh, i think the uh, rp has wide knowledge in in the in this nanotechnology that is lithium ion battery and he, i think he is having a wide array of inputs he is going to disseminate all his knowledge and inputs and all the in information regarding lithium ion battery which will be very very useful for the budding scientists and research scholars i request all the participants to make use of this webinar a very useful and productivity and i once again congratulate the whole team of department of physics to organize this wonderful webinar thank you ஒரு 
orally come uh, communicating with you. I have prepared a PPT about our CS person. So this is the dissertation title: Grind size dependent electrical and magnetic properties of nanostructured spinal ferrite. This is the dissertation title of our uh, resource person. His advisor is Professor A. Narayana Sarmi, coordinator, Center for Nanoscience and Nanotechnology. After completing his research. He acted, uh, he acted as a post-doctoral research from June 2008 to November 2009 in Germany. After the stint, he has one more post-doctoral researcher, this time in South Korea, from February 2010 to January 2011. After completing post-doctoral research stint, he promoted as post-doctoral research associate from February 2011 to July 2011, this time also in South Korea. So after completing his postdoc, he came back to India and appointed as assistant professor at Amrita Institute Kuchi from August 2011 to December 2013. After that, he joined in the Chikaya College as, as a assistant professor. Regarding his guidance, research project and application, under his guideship, one has submitted his PhD thesis and also one student has submitted his simple thesis. Four is undergoing the PhD work under his uh, AFL guidance, and one is undergoing his MPhil under his guidance. As far as the publications are concerned, he has 35 number of publications in the international journal. I will come back to it later on because nowadays number, uh, the number of publication is just a mere, mere number. As far as the research project is concerned, he has a project from the Department of Science and Technology for an amount of rupees 25 lakhs. So the project is going on, one minor project is also going on. As I told you, the number of publications nowadays is just a mere number to judge or impact the uh, impact is impact of his publication in uh, scientific work. I am displaying the Google Scholar citation. So as far as his Google Scholar 